Thank you for joining today. Uh, I'm Roland Thomas. I'm from the Data and Analytics Services Group here at NERSC. Uh, I'm a data architect uh, in that group. I take care of the Python ecosystem on Cori alongside my colleague, Lori, who's here also. Um, I also take care of Jupiter at NERSC um, and a few other things. Um, so, of course, this is a, a training event uh, for learning to use uh, the NVIDIA Rapids ecosystem on, uh, on GPUs. And the idea is that we want to help you get ready for being able to do data analytics on uh, Perlmutter when it arrives later this year. All right. So moving forward. All right. Uh, so again, thanks for zooming in. Um, we were originally hoping to have this as an on-site training with um, uh, remote attendance possible, but the remote attendance, of course, became mandatory. We want to thank everybody for continuing to be interested in, in, in the training to join us this way. Um, it did, uh, we did do a lot of logistical preparation beforehand, um, but uh, a bunch of that just had to be canceled. Uh, this also had implications for how we're going to do the training. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but again, I just want to thank everybody for putting up with this. Uh, again, I just want to remind everybody to stay muted um, if possible. That way we avoid echoes and, uh, and other kind of things. I think probably by this point, people are probably pretty good at, at Zoom etiquette. Uh, this event, of course, is being recorded. Um, it should be showing up at some point on the NERSC website soon on the website uh, for the uh, for the training event. Um, I'm not a, I'm not going to say it's going to happen uh, this week, maybe, but uh, it might it should probably be happening at some point by the end of next week. I would say the slides that we're going to be presenting today are on the NERSC website on the training event page, so you can look at those, uh, download them, and review them later on uh, if you want. Um, today, during the event um, and prior to the event, you can use uh, Jupyter Notebooks and you can run these notebooks on the GPUs. And we're going to keep uh, those of you who um, uh, didn't have GPU access already will we'll be able to keep GPU access through April 20th. Um, as a little bit of background, we have a testbed system uh, attached to Cori, uh, which is a, a bunch of uh, GPU nodes uh, for basically getting ready for Perlmutter. And um, in, pre uh, in preparation for this event, uh, we have a reservation in place. Um, and uh, due to time constraints, uh, you know, I was doing a little bit of last minute hacking to make sure that it all worked. Um, this morning after this talk, I'm going to go double check that all of that's working. So if you had problems using Jupyter Notebooks on the shared GPU node instance um, just immediately prior or this morning to this event, uh, to calling in. It's probably because we were taking most of the GPUs and you're waiting outside the reservation and the scheduler was kind of just saying, sorry, you can't run a job yet. Um, if, it's, uh, if, it, if it winds up having sustained problems, you know, I'll, I'll be debugging those, but I don't think that will be um, too difficult for me to resolve uh, while other people are doing presentations. So definitely, if you can't run the notebooks right away, don't panic. Uh, in the afternoon, I think everything will probably be working just fine and you'll be able to do it then and afterwards. Um, for questions and comments, I think the best thing for us to do right here is to use the chat window instead of like all unmuting unless I would say unless uh, it was the request of the speaker. Um, but uh, let's let's just de default to using the chat window for, for passing questions and Lori or I will be keeping an eye on that. Um, I think that's just about everything. Usually for an in-person event, we have something like, you know, earthquakes and how to recycle and uh, where the bathrooms are and how to escape the building. We don't have to do any of that. Presumably, you know how all of that works at your, your place. Uh, but I can say, you know, just stay relaxed in your bathrobe or whatever with your coffee. Uh, you know, keep doing your social distancing and wash your hands. All right. Um, so now that that was before we begin. So now we're going to begin. Um, so I just wanted to remind everybody, of course, everybody's here because they know this, that Perlmutter, uh, the next production system that we're going to be running at NERSC is going to be arriving uh, later this 
start arriving later this year and it's going to be completely delivered sometime during next year. Um, it's going to have at least three times the computational power of Cori. It's going to be a heterogeneous CPU node, GPU node architecture. It's going to bring together AMD uh, CPU based nodes and NVIDIA based GPU nodes and we're very excited about this. Uh, it also has a new interconnect from Cray, which is Ethernet compatible and is supposed to be very good at supporting data centric workflows. And we're going to have an all flash platform integrated storage. Um, so there's a lot of really uh, cool things that are coming in Perlmutter. And of course, we're very excited about all of those things. Um, but the reason that we're here talking about uh, Rapids today is, of course, because of the GPU nodes, which are going to include for uh, next generation uh, NVIDIA GPU nodes or GPUs uh, with tensor cores, uh, NVLink, high bandwidth memory, uh, one AMD CPU for uh, uh, one AMD CPU per node, and UVM. All right. Uh, forward. Okay. So um, the concern that we have is that there might be users who um, may just simply not know what they can do with the GPUs, and uh, we want to help users like yourselves um, become educated about uh, what it is that you need to know in order to be productive on the GPUs. Um, so to that end, we've been hosting a number of training events, workshops, hackathons. We're going to continue doing this throughout this year and next year. Other laboratories have been hosting these as well. Um, a lot of these are around applications, uh, not not really workflows, but applications that are written in compiled languages like C, C++, or Fortran. Um, but we didn't want uh, Python users to be left out, and we wanted them to have some of the fun too. And I actually think that probably they have kind of maybe more fun because Rapids is a really powerful library up upon which you can build a lot of stuff. Uh, so it's hopefully it's going to make you feel productive and powerful at the same time when you get on your GPUs when they arrive. Um, why the focus on Python? I don't know that I really need to say this to you because I mean it's it's obviously part of why you're here, but I mean it's an integral programming language. That's something that we we see a lot of data analytics, data analysis pipelines, machine learning, uh, machine learning workflows at NERSC that use Python. It's basically the platform of choice for productivity, prototyping models, rapid iterative data exploration. Increasingly, we see, or it's common to see at least, experimental and observational data facilities or experiments uh, that are run by DOE uh, users turning to high productivity languages like Python. Um, so um, we kind of perceive that it's necessary to close the gap between the software needs of, of you, of NERSC users, and um, current state-of-the-art GPU analytics libraries. And so that's why we have a partnership with NVIDIA. Um, but here I've got um, you know, other, other statistics to, to just mention, which is that, I mean, basically every month, there's over 1,000 unique non-staff Python users at NERSC, and that's a fairly sizable fraction of everybody that logs in. Are they all using high performance uh, libraries for everything that they're doing in Python? Probably not, but a good fraction of those are. A quarter of all projects that run uh, jobs at NERSC, so this is on the compute nodes, are using Python. A quarter of all jobs that run at NERSC are using Python in some form or fashion. Um, but so it's obviously an important part of our workload, and that's why, uh, why we're having this train training event and why we have this engagement with, with NVIDIA. Uh, I think I missed the slide. Yeah, um, so I just wanted to say a word about our engagement with NVIDIA. This is part of a non-recurring engineering contract uh, that NERSC has with NVIDIA uh, to, help, uh, to help users of Python uh, get ready for, for Perlmutter. Um, as I said, we're trying to close the gap between uh, what our users uh, need and what is available in the data analytics uh, ecosystem. Um, so part of this has involved uh, finding workflows that run on uh, the CPU architectures at NERSC uh, from real NERSC users, uh, some from inside the NERSC center, so some staff workflows, but also, uh, crucially, uh, NERSC user workflows. 
sharing those with NVIDIA engineers in order to uh, help uh, inform product development and get feedback from the experts on how users can optimize their GPU utilization. Uh, so this has been very productive for us. And uh, this hackathon is, is part of that effort and we hope that you find it uh, a useful experience. Okay, so here's today's agenda. Um, it is um, a number of talks, um, but there are a number of exercises as well. However, uh, due to the remote nature of this, they've been turned into flipped classroom exercises. So if you had an opportunity to try the notebooks ahead of time, um, that's great. If you haven't been able to do it, um, maybe you have a chance to do it today when the reservation's working um, or afterwards up to April 20th. Um, and then of course, when Promoter arrives, you can of course try those notebooks later, try your own workflows, obviously. Uh, what we hope is that you can look at these notebooks and learn from them and kind of finally get a sense of like, okay, I kind of see the way that I should be thinking about using the GPUs and what the tools are in Python that can um, help me use the GPUs and how to talk to them and how it's different from or similar to the kind of workflows that you're used to on CPUs. Um, there are going to be uh, three breaks today. So there's a, a couple of 15 minute breaks and then there'll be a, a break for lunch. Uh, you know, during that time, let's, uh, let's all, you know, stretch and, and do things we need to do during that time. Um, I would also ask that people be respectful of our uh, presenters because some of them are in many different time zones and like some of them are a few hours ahead of us. So it's gonna be seven o'clock by the time we get done here. So uh, let's try to keep on schedule. Of course, the, the part of that is gonna be uh, on, the, on the presenters, but uh, you know, as an audience, if, uh, if it makes sense to take a question and turn it into an email question or something like that, then uh, we can help to route those later if it turns into a longer discussion. Um, also, uh, as I mentioned before, there's uh, homework uh, that was shared with you. I know that a number of users were able to get onto the GPUs in the past several days and, and try out the notebooks there. Uh, we've heard uh, that things have worked pretty well and when there were issues we were able to help users resolve those. Um, so I hope that I hope that those were useful exercises. Um, uh, today's presenters are coming to us from NVIDIA. Uh, they're from the RAPIDS team uh, and also a solutions architect. Um, so the presenters are Ayush, uh, and uh, Vibhu and Nick from the RAPIDS team and Zara Ronagi, who's a solutions architect. Uh, Zara is a former NERSC postdoc, actually. So it's nice to have her back and presenting as well. Um, I wanted to take a minute to especially thank our presenters from NVIDIA so much uh, for being able to um, deal with the uh, difficulties around a remote, uh, remote training event. Uh, we felt that it was important to try to hold this at the at the time that we originally uh, scheduled it rather than pushing it off to later in the year uh, because we wanted to give you the users time to become familiar with the tools uh, well in advance of, of the arrival of the hardware. Um, but again, you know, I know that people are in different time zones and I, you know, I hope we're not uh, messing up people's schedules too bad for this, but I did want to again, thank you so much for uh, for agreeing to participate and make your presentations, but also for the hard work that you've done uh, with the workflows that we've shared with you. Uh, a few further thanks. Um, I want to thank Lori, who has done a lot of the um, setup and testing of notebooks uh, and uh, making sure that um, things are happening at the right time and watching the waiting room for me right now and all of that. So thanks a lot, Lori and also Celeste for administrative support. And of course you who are uh, remote and socially distanced. Um, this last slide here contains a number of useful links which will be um, directly useful during the training event today. Um, but we include them here kind of mostly for reference for later on uh, when you're looking at the slides. Uh, so with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll move to the first presentation. <laughs>